Hey guys, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your AMD graphic card to improve your FPS and boost performance in Valorant Season 25 Act 3 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video because we are going to be covering up everything you need to know. So with all that said, let's get started right with the intro. Alright, step number one is heading on to your desktop and right click and then click on the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. If this is not available over here, click on show more options and it should be available right inside. Even if not there, you guys can go into Microsoft Store and download this. Then head over to the AMD Adrenaline Software Edition and over here you need to ensure that your graphic card software is up to date. If not, you guys can go into manage update and check for any update if available. Right over here, what you guys have to do is come down to the gaming section and then then you have to select your game if that is already available over here. For me, Valorant is auto detected, but if not, you guys can click on these three dots and then click on add a game. Add Valorant into this list and simply select that. Once you're over here, you guys have to make a few changes right into your settings. First one is the AMD Fluid Motion Frame 2.1. You wanna have to disable that. Radeon Anti Lag should be enabled. Radeon Boost and Eye Chill should be disabled. For the image sharpening, I would leave it to disabled as well. And for the enhanced sync, you guys have to disable that as well. After that, click on the advanced settings over here and come a bit down. For the anti aliasing method, you guys have to click on override application settings. And for the anti aliasing level, you guys can go with 8x. For anti aliasing, go with use application settings. And for the anti aliasing method, go with multi sampling. Morphological anti aliasing should be set to disabled. For anisotropic filtering, enable that and go for 8x over here. After that, texture filtering quality, you guys have to go with performance and surface format optimization, you guys have to disable that. For the tessellation mode, go with AMD optimized and disable OpenGL triple buffering. On the right hand side, you guys can find display settings wherein you have to select your AMD FreeSync to off. Scaling mode should be set to global settings and integer scaling should be set to global settings as well. For the custom color, you have to enable that. And then for the saturation, you guys have to go with 150. This will enhance the colors and make everything more visible. After that, for the display color enhancement, you guys can go with default settings of Vivid Gaming. Both of them works perfectly fine. For the color deficiency correction, you guys can go with disabled. Once that is done, head over to record and stream and right over here, you have to go over to the settings. Then ensure that record desktop and recording profile, everything over here is turned off. This is an overlay service and it consumes a lot of resources and performance. You guys can simply turn it off and save everything to improve the performance. After that, head over to the performance tab and then in the tuning section. You have to ensure that the AMD smart access memory is set to enabled. If this is not set to enabled, you guys have to enable resizable bar from your BIOS. After that, you have to click on this settings gear and right over here, come down to the display settings. Then you have to scroll a bit down and you'll find overrides. Click on that and then you'll find HDCP support. You guys have to disable that. It might not help you to gain a lot of FPS, but it will definitely help you to improve your input latency. Then head over to the audio and video settings and then for the video profile, you wanna have to set this thing to enhanced. After that, head over to the preferences tab and over here, disable in-game overlay, web browser, advertisements, toast notifications and tutorials. Only enable system tray menu. Also disable animation and effects over here and always on top. Once all of that is done, you guys can close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and open it up. Select your local disk C and then click on the create button. Name it Val just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is the most important part over here, which is the Valorant AMD optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in four simple folders over here. The first one is Valorant priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Second folder is the CMD latency tweaks in which I have left disable memory compression and latency tweaks over here. What you guys have to do is right click and run it as administrator. This will disable all kind of unnecessary services which you barely use but it keeps on running in the background and consumes your CPU resources which are really essential for Valorant. Once it opens up, press enter and that should be it. Second one is latency tweaks and it helps you to reduce the input latency. Right click and run it as administrator. This will help you to disable dynamic tick, high precision event timer and synthetic timers allowing you to boost your FPS and reduce the input latency drastically. 
press enter. Third one is the AMD GPU optimization in which I have left these three registries. First one will help you to disable the energy driver. Second one will help you to disable power throttling and third one will prioritize AMD GPU to render your games. What you guys have to do is double click and apply every single one of them. I have already done it for myself. Final one is the windows optimization tweaks which is purely optional. You guys can find in three registry files over here which will help you to disable game DVR and increase your power efficiency. Simply double click to apply every single one of them and that will help you to improve the performance of your PC. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is editing the config files of your game and for that you guys have to press windows and R together on your desktop and then simply search for app data and once you press enter you will be here. Double click on local and then press V on your keyboard to find Valorant. Double click to open it up, head over to saved then configs and over here you will find this folder which should be the latest one available. Double click to open it up and then head over to windows client and then head over to windows and right over here you'll find game user settings ini right click on that and then click on the edit button these are your valorant settings and here is all you need to change for the b use vsync should be set to false use dynamic resolution set to false audio quality level should be set to zero this is a major performance impactor for the frame rate limit you can set it to 3 fps lower than your native monitor refresh rate i have a 185 hertz monitor so i can set it to 182 if you have a 50 hertz refresh rate monitor you guys can set it to 47 for a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor you guys can go with 57 and for a 144 hertz refresh rate monitor you guys can go with 141 i hope you get the idea then you have to scroll a bit down until you find the scalability group and over here you'll find all of the settings of your game what you have to do is set everything to zero over here so just set everything to zero just like this and this will set your game the lowest quality possible simply press ctrl and s on your keyboard and save this file close it and now you guys can drop into the game but before you move ahead here is a very simple application which will help you to fix all of your packet loss ping issues latency and a lot of other stuff you can download no ping for free from the link in the description below this is a very simple application which helps you to improve your ping packet loss and fps this app offers you over 1000 games to choose from simply search for valorant over here and click on that it will automatically suggest you the server with the lowest amount of ping simply click on optimize this game and that's it it helps you to one click boost your internet connection right away this app also offers you a dedicated fps boost section wherein you guys can enable these options which will help you to improve the performance of your pc drastically simply enable these options and that should be it once you are done enabling all of these options you guys can also boost your fps drastically once again i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen drastic improvements and you guys can too simply go check out no ping for free from the link in the description below okay once you're in your game what you guys have to do is head over to your settings and right over here come down to your general settings in which you have to scroll a bit down until you find raw input buffer and you guys wanna have to turn this thing on then head over to the video settings and then in the display mode set this thing to full screen click on the apply button head over to your graphic quality and ensure that multi-threaded rendering is turned on and then all of the settings right over here should be turned off except the anisotropic filtering which should be set to 2x after that simply close your settings and now you guys can drop into the game with the best fps possible so guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button because it takes a lot of effort to create these videos. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. You can do it. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. And we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.